So now that I've finished with my cameo and my leaf, I can go ahead and apply some changes, some modifications to the actual top shank of the ring. I'm going to activate the top shank clay piece and hit the F2 key to view it from a side view. I'm going to choose the emboss with image tool. Navigate to my folder, continue files, select the emboss.bitmap file. A small preview box will pop up. My, and a new dialog box for the emboss with image tool will pop up as well. I'm going to select wrap into a cylinder options, the stretch image option, and I'm going to adjust the height and diameter as well as the sweep. Now this image is an image that was made in Photoshop but could have been made in any 2D package. And it's simply a black and white image that will be used to influence the geometry of the voxels. Move up to my front view once again. I'm going to slide the cylinder so it's centered around the top shank. Moving the diameter up so that it fits accordingly. back down to my side view, I'm just going to assure that everything is lining up correctly. I'm going to set my emboss distance to 0.25 millimeters. And I'm going to hit the preview button to make sure I'm satisfied with my results. The preview button will show me a rough preview of what I expect to get when I click apply. I'm satisfied with these results so I'm going to go ahead and click on the apply button to actually commit all of these changes into the actual voxels. The computer will take just a moment to emboss the model and now I'm left with a texture and a pattern that's actually committed to the geometry of the voxel model. And this is a pattern I can actually feel and touch with the sculpting tools. And it's a pattern that will appear in rapid prototyping or machining.